the Rolling Stones' first single, which was four songs. Uh, they wouldn't go anywhere near a studio until I'd, I'd learned about their culture and their religion. Free, yeah. At that time, I think it was really just Johnny O'Keefe. Most of it was coming out of Sydney. The Bjorki Peterson regime was at its height. And I used to get pulled up every day because I had a, an old car with gear in the back and long hair. And I went in partnership with him to Bill Armstrong Studios. So we actually mixed the first Mad Max 1 in the, in the music room. I remember George Miller coming in every night and just falling asleep on the console because he'd been a doctor all day. And my job was to transition Keith from his band to his solo career. Love somebody, love somebody like and uh, that worked out really well. 